that a newborn baby is a, uh, a boy. Equal chance, okay? You get a seven when you roll it. All right, guys. New Year's Day falls on the 1st of January. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's certain. It has to be the 1st of January every year, okay? Adam, it snows in Dublin during May. I'm likely. Okay? Now, we have to put uh, all of these onto a number line. Is that okay? Now, lads, uh, dead center, half chance would be A for equal chance. Impossible is what? One, George. Impossible would be zero or one. Which one? Impossible would be zero. Okay. Now, finally, uh, certain would be what, uh, Sean? Yeah. Uh, certain is 100%. So, which is one. Very, very end, right? So, certain would be C. And then, unlikely is your choice. You could choose anything from a quarter. You can choose either one of these ones. Or uncertain. Is that okay? So, that would be D for uncertain. Okay. Cool. All right. Next question was pretty tough, okay? This one was uh, pretty tough overall. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> You 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 have a bag, all right? And this bag is full of uh, what's it? Blue. Blue, red, and white. Uh, white marbles. Okay. We don't know how many marbles are in each one. Would that would that be all right? Which is we don't know how many marbles of each type are in each one. All right. First of all, how many? How many times did we try pulling the marble out of a bag? Yes. Was it 240? 240? Okay. Next thing. It says frequency over total. So there's 123 reds out of how many? 240. And how many blues? Out of? And the next one? Now, in a test... Sometimes, if you don't break it down into, what's that? We put it into calculator, right? 78 over 240. Yeah, that'd be 13 over 40, won't it? And then the other one's 123 over 240. Okay. 41 over 80. The lads, I also ask you to turn it into percentage. So whatever fraction, yes, sir, then. You go on, tell me, go on. Yeah, and 51.25, if I remember correctly. And the next one. Yeah, and what you multiply that by? Multiply by 100, yeah? And what you get? 32.5. And the next one. All right, lads, I'm back up. Lads, I'm recording again. Ben, I'm recording again. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's not up in San Borgia, isn't it? There we go, we're back. All right, 39 over 240, and you're going to have to multiply that by, is it? Good man, 16.25, okay? Now, uh... Here's what happens next, okay? So we fill that in and you go, happy days, that's 10 marks, okay? And the first question is, in your opinion, why is the number of red greater than blue or white? Can anybody tell me why is there more red marbles than other colors? Uh, Sam? Yeah, that's one likely event, but out of 240 times, I'm sure they get jumbled around. Yes? What? Yeah, there must be more. Be there must be more red marbles in the bag. Go with that. The majority of the marbles must be 
red. If you pull out close to 50% reds, we pulled out 51.25% reds. Must mean half your bag is reds, at least. Does that make sense? Okay, now, uh, complete the table above. We did that. Okay, estimate the probability. So what we're going to do is we're sort of going to round it off here. What's 51% close to? 50%, all right? What's uh, what's this one close to? It's close to 30. You want to do 30? You could do that. And what's left over then? It has to go to 20, believe it or not. Why does it have to go all the way to 20? Yeah. Now, I've been inclined to do it slightly differently, if you don't mind. That, that is a, that is it's an estimate at the end of the day. That's a good estimate. Happy enough with that. The way I would have done it was a bit like this. I would have done that as uh, 15% or a half. I would have done this one as 33% because it's closer to 32, right? It's about like 33 and one third. What's 33 and one third? It's like a third, isn't it? Okay. And then the last one would have been a sixth, which would have been 16 and two thirds percent. To be honest, guys, I think you should get full max or either or. Is that right? Happy days. Now, D. And says there are 10 discs in the bag. Are you happy with 10 discs? Is this a reasonable suggestion? Let's find out. If five of the 10 discs were red, is that okay? It is, because it'd be very close to, it's 50%, which is very close to 51 points. Is that okay? And what about trio 10 uh, blue? Is that right, blue or white, was it? Blue. Yeah, trio 10 blue is 30%, which is very close to. Yeah, and 2L10, which is the white one, would be 20%. And it's close enough to 16.25, but it's close enough. So I think that is a reasonable suggestion. Is that right with you guys? Now, for me, I thought there was a... I went for, tw I went for 24, okay? But I suppose some people could have went for... Uh, some people could have went for 12, would have been better. Because if you did 12, what could you say? 6 out of 12 are red. We could have said uh, 3, no, no, 4 out of 12 are blue. What are 4 out of 12 blue? One third, isn't it? And that, that could put you at 33%, wouldn't it? And then 2 out of 12 are white. And that'll put you close to 16%, wouldn't it? Yeah. And the fact that Anne thinks there's 10 discs in the bag, that means there couldn't possibly be 120 uh, discs in the bag. Does that make sense? Because the bag would be really heavy then, wouldn't it? That was very hard to, to, to I missed that when I was correcting the test. I missed the fact that she thinks there's 10. I can't say there's 120 because she's obviously picking up the bag and she knows more information than I do. Okay. This is a very difficult question and I would not get too worried about it. If I'm being honest. All right, lads, Sam, I need to do this one. There's a really quick way of doing it. Twenty-one on the bottom, is it? And what's uh, seven times two? What? And then when you add them together. Is that all right for you guys? Now, guys, uh, there is a much quicker way of doing it as well, which you're allowed to do. I'm doing it right now. You can always do the calculator. Okay? There's no reason why you can't just lock that one in. Okay? But if you do, the best, I suppose the best thing to do is try to work in and then check it using the calculator. Okay? Now here's the next one. Okay. Uh, James, how do you do this one? All right. Yeah, and 4K. Okay. Why did you divide by the 4? Yeah. It's multiplying the left because there's nothing in between the 4 and the K. Makes it divide on the right. 
Okay, we did really well with that one. Most of us did close that one out pretty good. Okay, this one here. Any ideas what we can do here? Uh, yes, Chris. What? Huh? Seven on top, one on the bottom. Are they the same fraction, Rain? You want the you want seven to have a five on the bottom. You want them both to be over five. Okay, Sean, how do you fix this situation then? What did you put top and bottom? You want a five on the bottom. So what number do you put in here? What's one times five? So you put a five here. We put a five on the top and the bottom. What do you have to do to the top, Michael? You have to do another five as well, don't you? What's seven times five? And one times five? And what's 35 divided by five? Still seven. So you haven't changed it. You haven't changed the thing, really. Okay, uh, Adam, what happens to the fives on the bottom then? What can we do with them? Yeah. We can get rid of them. Good man. What's left over then? Yeah. Now after that? Tree on the other side, good man. What do we get then? Tree two, then after that? Divided by two? What do you get? Sixteen. All right. Have we killed that? All right. Uh, Good job. All right. I gave you this one as well, did I? Okay. Zachary, how'd you do this one? Move the axis to one side. Good man. Zachary, move the two axes to the other side. Yeah. And then here. The minus three on the left. X plus two on the right. Sean, what's five X take two X? And what's three plus nine? And what do I do with this tree here? So what do we do? Uh, so it, it's, yeah, because it's multiplied by three. So it's divided by three. What's that divided by three? Good job. Right, nearly there. Won't be too much longer, okay? Yes. Yeah, go on, please do it, go on. Ten T, yeah. Good job, yeah. Keep going. Yeah. 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 What's minus three minus one out of interest? Yeah, so just six T minus four, really, isn't it? Okay. Ten T minus six T, good job. Okay. And Sean, will you take over now? Yeah. Yeah. Times when the minus twenty moves over. Okay. After that. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly 16 over there. Four. What'd you get? Yeah, good work. Right. Uh, Oscar, any idea how to do this one here? So, uh, what did you do? You counted up in numbers, didn't you? And then... And what's the common number in all three lists? So we decide on a common denominator of 12, yeah? All right, Oscar, how did you change the first one? Top and bottom by four, yeah? The next one? Top and bottom by three, and the next one after that? 
by six. Okay. Uh, Adrian, you did the first one for me. Multiply it by four. Ax because four multiplied by two x. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next, keep going, Ada. Yeah. Last one. Multiply it by by six. Okay. Now, uh, Tommy, what do we do now? Now what? Well, my left went on top. And um, yeah, they're already on the left. So what's AX plus 3X? X. What do you want to do with the 4? I want you to bring the 4 over. Yep. Now I'm staying. And then what do you do after that? And what happens after that? Good job. Uh, do, do, do. Sam, what what button number do you think you should use? Yeah, how'd you get ten? Yeah, you, you can count up in twos. You're right. You can do it that way as well. Count up in fives. Count up in tens. The common number is ten. All right. So what you do, top and bottom here? It's it's okay. It's okay. Oh, sorry, I got you. Thank you. What you multiply top and bottom by? Six X minus four all over ten, right? Now here's the hard part, Adam. See that minus Adam? That minus makes things really difficult. Because what are you gonna multiply top and bottom by here? So, see that minus? I want you to attach that to the 5. So, what's minus 5 when you multiply it in? What's minus 5 times x? And what's minus 5 multiplied by minus 1? And multiply, you nearly have it. Minus 5 multiplied by minus 1. Yeah, it's plus 5. Okay. And, George, what do we do at this stage? I'm still the tens. What? I'm still the tens on the bottom. Yeah. Bam. Okay. You ignored them, yeah? Okay. 6x take 5x, George. 6x take away 5x. 1x. Minus 4 plus 5. Plus 1. Okay. Bobby, what happens to this one here? Uh, because there was a minus at the start, and you see this minus in the middle? In order to do it, you need to attach it to the number you're multiplying by. Bobby, what happens to the one? And what happens to it? And now what's your answer? Should you take away one? Two, is that right with you guys? Question. Now, all right, this one's tough. Right. Andrew is three times Grace's age. If Grace is... Yep, yeah, well done. Andrew is 3x because that is simply three times Grace's age, isn't it? Because Grace is x. George? Now, 3x and x. Fair enough, right? So Andrew's 3x and Grace is x. Now, what happens when you age 10 years, Tommy? What happens when you get 10 years old? What do you do with your age? Do you multiply by 10 or add 10? So what do you think I need to do to, to do these ages to make them age 10 years? So what's the answer then? No, no, because you can't add 10 to 3x. They're different items. 3x plus 10, yeah? X plus 10. You cool with that? Who's older? The 3X plus 10 or the X plus 10? Yeah, Andrew's older than Grace in 10 years' time. Now, in 10 years' time, Andrew will be twice as old as Grace. So what does that mean? 
Andrew's age, which is 3x plus 10, equals what? Andrew equals 2 times Grace. How do you do 2 times Grace's age? Multiply by what? Yep. Very close to getting this done now. Are you feeling multiplied out for me? Yeah. And on the other side? Finish it, Finn. 3x minus 2x. Yeah, just 10, is it? And now what's the answer then? Yeah. Now, guys, I actually, when I was correcting this, I gave full marks for x equals 10. Should I have given full marks for x equals 10? Uh, Sean, you said no. Any reason why? Okay, why haven't I finished it? Read the blue part. And the current the current ages were three x and x. So what's three times x? Three times ten? Thirty. And the other person was? Ten. And in ten years time they'd be forty and twenty, which is twice the age. Is that right? All right guys. Good patience today, lads. Uh, we'll just finish this one and we're, we're done then. This is the last one. Okay. Now, shh. Liam saved six more than Olivia. What's six more, guys? Not six times more. Six euro more. What is the answer? Which one is it? X plus six. Whatever she saved... Plus another six. It was six times, it'd be six X, but it's not six times. Okay. Now, shh, lads, Liam plus Olivia. How much did Liam save again? Liam saved. Yeah, yeah. So Liam saved X plus six, and Olivia saved X. And then when you add them together, two X plus six. The total they saved together is how much? So 2x plus 6 equals? Does it say to solve it? it? Just says right down there. Equation. Finally, 2x plus 6 equals 82. Okay, Bobby, what you do with the 6? And what do we get? And then divide that by 2. 38. X equals 38. 